so let me start with this uh, uh, image. It's actually coming from National Defense and Industry Association for the system engineering um, uh, in the connection to uh, other engineering disciplines. As we see here, everyone sits at the same table, right? Uh, including system engineering. So especially system engineering is responsible for connecting the dots. So if we do it, if we enable it with model based as it should be, so um, as all other engineering industry uh, disciplines are already model based. So we enable that connectivity, right? Uh, through the models. And uh, that gives us uh, uh, opportunity to digitally actually integrate the disciplines uh, from the beginning of the project through the life cycle of the project, as you can see here, going from the preliminary design review to uh, detailed design review and so. So uh, today we'll talk about that uh, if you store the data actually in the model, it's not necessary that only system engineers contribute to the data and actually see the data. It's actually multiple roles and how to enable this is actually with the most simple and uh, the most common interface as Excel dynamically accessing the data and getting in and out uh, information with the most simple interface, but at the same time dynamically and we'll explain how and show how. Okay, do you want to carry on? Okay, well, thanks a lot, uh, Solius. Um, so um, that just to you know again introduce uh, myself, Paul Goosens, and uh, have uh, Barani Mohan, who will be taking you through a live demo of uh, Maple MBSC. I'm just going to kind of set the t uh, set the scene in the context of uh, uh, of what Solius was talking about, and certainly from the um, perspective of implementing a digital transformation of the engineering process. You know, systems engineering, model-based systems engineering, is very much central to that in terms of. Uh, cap capturing the goals of the um, of the product design, and of course, systems engineers need uh, the input from from many uh, different stakeholders in order to uh, to get the, the rich set of information that's required to to do, to do the design work. So, from our perspective and uh, in, in, in our engagements with um, uh, 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 companies and customers that have, are, are implementing MBSE process, there are three categories of uh, of uh, of people that we need to deal with. First one, obviously, is the systems engineer, um, and you know that they they uh, appreciate the fact that uh, using a tool like MBSC, uh, Maple MBSC, can really accelerate the introduction of uh, MBSC as part of their, their, their digital transformation uh, strategies. Uh, largely because it's um, they, they they can get the information that they need at the, at the level of detail and at, at, in the structure that is required. Uh, from the, the subject matter experts and other stakeholders in the in the uh, in the organisation, um, added to that um, by providing a, um, an, an Excel-based tool to do this, that actually reduces the resistance that's typically inherent in uh, in trying to in, 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 uh, introduce new processes, new tools into the into the process. So they actually get they get a double benefit from that. The other uh, um, category of stakeholder in, in, in this is, is, is the subject matter expert or the, or the end user uh, that, uh, of our tool. Uh, now they have a way to be able to um, you know, capture the knowledge that, they, that they're generating from their activities and bring it into the, um, uh, into the systems model in a way that uh, it doesn't impose any particular uh, requirements for knowledge of, uh, of systems engineering or, or knowledge of the tools. They just simply use Excel to do that. Um, this not only engenders um, um, coll easy collaboration between the, 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 the subject matter expert, experts and the systems engineer, it actually allows all the various stakeholders to be able to uh, collaborate with each other uh, through the systems model. And then the third um, uh, uh, personality that uh, obviously we, we work with is the, is the program director. Uh, the, 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 the person is always seeing all of this uh, activity and wants to make sure that uh, there, are, there, are, there are any risks or un, uh, unbudgeted costs are kept to a minimum. Um, and certainly by providing a tool like Maple MBSC to do that, this really does help to uh, ensure that the, the, the success of, of the project. So how do we do that? Well, um, Maple MBSC is, is essentially a uh, synchronized bi-directional um, connection into the systems model that connects into uh, into Excel uh, at the front end. Uh, this provides 
for, for the end user, a very familiar Excel interface for viewing, entering, and modifying system design information that they can then be automatically sent into the systems model. So any changes that are made in the systems model at the Excel end, that the integrity of that information is kept into the, into the systems model. Um, we provide um, tight integration where with the, uh, um, the, the Cameo um, tool chain uh, through the Teamwork Cloud. Um, and because the, the, the kinds of applications that um, uh, Maple MBSE is used for, uh, it has to be a very open, very flexible um, capability to provide a, a powerful um, backend technology to, to, to allow uh, customizable um, tasks or customized front ends for, stat, for, for tasks to be readily um, developed and, and rapid customization of, the, uh, of the, the tool at the front end to make sure that the end user gets the best possible experience. Types of applications we get involved in. Uh, this is just a snapshot, to, it's just an example of some of the use cases, uh, ICDs, um, uh, trade analysis, FMEAs, that kind of that, uh, the, these are the kinds of things that are uh, uh, that are used quite extensively with Maple MBSC. What I would say to you is much further to that. It's basically, it's any task that that has already been performed in a spreadsheet can be um, uh, can be uh, developed as an application uh, for, for with, with Maple MBSC. Um, probably the biggest uh, area that we're involved in is just being able to give a tool uh, to the SMEs in order to be able to apply their knowledge and their skills to generate the information at the level that's required uh, for, the, um, uh, for the systems model. An example of this would be uh, certainly their decomposition, functional decomposition in particular, uh, since we'll be showing that um, in a moment. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, the things where you've got very large lists of, um, of information, uh, equipment lists, for example, they tend to be reside in very flat files in the, in an Excel spreadsheet um, with no really explicit um, hierarchical uh, structure. We can actually uh, use our tools to very easily bring the equipment list in, apply that hier hierarchical structure, and then embed it into the systems model. Uh, into the systems model, much much quickly, more quickly than say trying to import it into into Cameo and then trying to figure out the structures. And then even for the systems engineers. Um, Maple MD, MBSE provides this very handy tool to just be able to do things like you know, structural analysis of the model or traceability or impact analysis um, uh, of that model. So that's really just a really just to give you a sense of the kinds of uh, uh, the range of applications that we can use with um, Maple MBSE. Um, so that's really just, just me giving you a bit of an overview of, um, uh, of, of what the tool is about and why it's important and why it brings value to the, uh, uh, to, to the process. But now, now I'd like to pass it over to Barani, who can take you through a demonstration of the tool just to show, show you the, uh, um, you know, the, the passing through from one um, uh, from the systems engineer to the design engineer who used Maple MVSC to do the decomposition and then bring the system uh, model. So with that, uh, I'll pass it over to Barani. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Okay, so uh, as Paul mentioned, the use case that we are going to see today with Maple MBAC is functional decomposition. Uh, so basically, functional decomposition, uh, it's something that uh, we expect the system to do. So we identify the functions that uh, we want the system to do. Uh, we break down these functions into uh, sub functions and so on. And we, we will see an activity tracker or a fitness tracker example. Uh, the basic function the, we expect from the uh, activity tracker is going to be to track daily activity or to track your uh, heart rate, sleep cycle, and etc. So, in, in terms of functional decomposition, uh, what we expect to do first is we want to identify the lower level functions and we want to break down these lower level functions in, into uh, basic functions where you can assign uh, the functions to a certain component that will be performing that function and we identify the inputs and, and the outputs for functions uh, then we allocate the functions to the components and we want to also finally verify if 
the the functions that we identify meets the system requirements and so on so basically this is what uh, the, the functional decomposition uh, workflow is going to be like and uh, this is important because we want to identify uh, all the functions that is expected of the system uh, say it could be defined as a requirement or we identify new function uh, and, and so on uh, and also we want to uh, create different alternative uh, architectures to identify uh, which uh, architecture will, will best suit our need and, and so on with, based on trade studies and so on. So th this is kind of to give you an overview of what a functional decomposition is. And then uh, with MapleMBC, what MapleMBC can help 